and welcome to Business as Unusual. Uh, my name is Megan from Greater London Properties, GLP. Um, I hope that you and your family are all safe and well. Um, whilst people are logging on, tuning in, um, I just wanted to give a quick introduction uh, to these live videos um, and what we have been doing um, in order to connect local businesses with local residents. Um, so since the end of March, um, we have seen that a lot of local businesses have had to adapt um, to the current unusual situation. Um, so we wanted as a state agents to build that bridge um, and just be able to uh, create a platform uh, where Central London Lockdown uh, Support Group, bit of a mouthful, uh, came from. Um, so we wanted to uh, build that bridge um, just so that people could communicate, promote their own businesses. Um, it's, an, it's a public group as well, so if you are a local business that wants to promote that you're still open or doing deliveries, feel free to post. Um, so basically, as we've seen more and more um, throughout this time uh, that businesses have created new innovative ideas, um, in order to generate revenue for their businesses, as well as helping out communities and local charities. We decided to start doing live streaming, um, just to give them a little bit more exposure, um, help them reach out to the local residents of central London, um, and just to support wherever we can, really. Um, so today we're speaking to Hannah from The Four. Um, so Hannah um, founded The Four um, and it is a, a fitness boutique in central London in King's Cross um, and they're helping everyone stay mentally and physically fit at the moment. So um, Hannah, give us a bit of background um, on The Four and how the business started. Um, well, the business is called The Four because there are really four parts that make you feel well. And it's not just about going to the gym, um, although that is a key part of it, being physically fit, also being mentally and emotionally fit, and then also social and intellectual. So in order to in order to ground and balance, we, we need friends in our life. We need to be learning things all the time. We need to be moving and we need to be looking after ourselves mentally. So we created a concept around it and said, it's nowhere else that you go. You would take your car to one place to get a wing mirror fixed and another place to put the oil in it, you'd probably take it to a garage, which could do it all for you. So that's what we do here, we do it all. And, and the idea being that it makes it so accessible and easy that you can have wellness in your life every day. It doesn't have to be a big event, it can just be one thing that you do, it could be multiple things that you do, but you can really easily fit it into your daily life and your routine. And um, and so we founded it uh, in um, Ju June last year. Gosh, I couldn't remember. <laughs> We're nearly a year old. And, um, and we chose King's Cross because we really wanted an area where we could get every kind of demographic. And what we hadn't actually factored in was the fact that we would come to an amazing community and this this has been we've lucked out really because the the community on our doorstep is absolutely amazing local businesses residents students that everybody comes together here and everybody will help each other out in a very big way and just as the lockdown happened it was very much all hands on deck and people going in and out of each other's businesses like it was in and out of your house kind of post world yeah. too, seeing how they could help. And and I think that that's really special and that's something that's gonna be a, le a legacy that's lasting from this crisis because I think that's happened all over. And it's really, um, people should be very proud of themselves for that. Yeah, that's really, really lovely. We've absolutely loved seeing um, King's Cross grow as well, like all of the redevelopment. So I think businesses like yours kind of coming into that also brings other people that outside King's Cross kind of coming in just to, to see all of this grow and, and all of the growth in the community feel. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, how do you, uh, so one question I wanna ask, um, how do you combine everything? So obviously you've got all of these different elements of you know social health, intellectual wellbeing um, and emotional health. Um, so how do you combine all of this for uh, the people that kind of tune in? So we have, um, so if I take them one by one, we have a, um, we have a fitness studio where we have um, trainers and we either run classes or we have one-to-one um, -one workouts that you can come and do. We also do something that really bridges the gap between PT and group exercise, and that's small group classes where you can come and work out with one trainer and four people at the same time. So it's the, everything we do in fitness is about being 
joyful and it's fun. There is no kill it, smash it, slay it. It's mm. at a certain point became very much about pain and um, and struggle. And actually, it should be a joyful occasion. And the fact is that we're not as human beings going to do anything on a consistent basis if we do not love it. So unless you're a self masochist. Killing it. I mean, it's just not really going to live. It's not. It won't last. So basically, we all of our classes are fun. We hire people because of their personality rather than their um, CV. And um, we, the the movement. There's a lot of variety here as well. There's you know our trainers are very diverse, and the the kind of fitness that we produce upstairs is very diverse too. From an emotional perspective, we then layer on top of that the fact that you know your emotional journey really does sit alongside your your, your physical one. But we have healers, we have um, practitioners in Eastern medicine, we have a um, massage and remedial um, medicine here. So we really look after the whole part of your body from that perspective. And then the social and intellectual side of it are we have this beautiful studio where we have a completely free workspace. So you can come, you can if you want to work out, you can come and have a treat, come for no other reason than you just want to have a conversation and a chat. But it's all ready for you to just be able to work very seamlessly when you when you get in. And that was because we felt that there was an, an epidemic that had happened of loneliness and people who were working remotely no longer interacted with anybody and had lost a lot of touch with society. So here, what we get is the fact that they'll come in maybe to do an hour of work before they go and do a workout and then they'll stay and have a shower and, and be back at work off because we've got super fast Wi-Fi, we've got printers and business services for them. And, um, and it's really been designed around a sort of, and it looks like a home office, the whole thing, you know, I, I actually miss my studio because my home office is shit in comparison to this. <laughs> and, then, and then the social side of it is we have this lovely cafe, which is in the living room, which um, we have events where people come together just for the sake of coming together. We sometimes have book clubs, we have um, talks and we have workshops, but then we also just have social, uh, you know, if you wanted to hang out with us. And that's something that we've actually continued doing that on Zoom. So we have a, um, we invite clients to come and join us um, just to have a look at No, that's great. I know that um, you've basically created your own social community. I love that, where people feel comfortable to come to you. Um, I know that a few of my colleagues as well, before they go to the gym, they often kind of say, oh, yeah, well, my gym class doesn't start until seven. So I guess I'll just stay in the office. So I think it's just really opening up to that that gap that you don't even realise is there until you've got the opportunity um, to go and kind of, you know, sit and, and speak with people that are like minded and have somewhere comfortable to, to connect. So that's, that's really good. <laughs> Fantastic. And make, friends, and make friends, too. We have so many clients who have met here and who now come at the same class naturally because that's their class and they and they join together and they become really great friends we've had people go out on dates i'm expecting to before very soon um, it, well maybe after lockdown when they open up that whole marriage again but um it's really it's been um the community really did create itself around us and I think that that's, um, I could never take credit for that because it's just a, a very natural byproduct of, of the, I guess, the concept and, and the fact that we have a team of people who, who naturally gravitate towards others and, and mix people together really well. So this place is very much non, it's not intimidating. You don't feel like you're going to a swanky boutique studio. You feel like you're going home. Yeah, that's such a nice feel. I like that. <laughs> especially uh especially now that we're all at home as well and the zoom chats that's a fantastic idea to kind of keep everyone connected yeah. it's really and um, what have you found have you found anything uh challenging kind of switching everything to digital um have you found any challenges along the way <laughs> maybe a few many <laughs> yeah, it was so easy it was um yeah because um yeah we're all really techie here um I, it's, been, it's been the challenge of my life um well one of them if i did not have um people around me in my team who were able to think outside of the box give it a go my personality is very much look we'll try it if it doesn't work 
what have we lost? And it's, I guess the first challenge was, I, I thought the first challenge was really going to be, shit, how do I keep my team employed? That was my first challenge. And then thankfully the government have stepped in to help out with that side of it. So I don't feel that weight of responsibility. But then the challenge became, well, how do we keep our community connected and engaged? And we, you know, we, we've done this um, kind of the four week plan, which was creating a structure and a schedule for people. Because in the first few weeks, it, you felt very unhanded. You know, it was really, it was, it, it, it just wasn't, it wasn't a norm that we were used to at all. And so we kind of, this really structured schedule together where you know it was like 7 a.m you could do breathing at 9 a.m you could do ability at 12 you can do hit and actually as the weeks have gone on it's really petered down because people are going you know what i don't need to wake up at seven yeah i can wait i'm gonna wake up at nine because it's a long day ahead of me and i can do whatever i want to do so you know what I'm not going to do that seven or eight one, but I'd really like to do that rest class a little bit later. And so we've really we've we've kind of adjusted the schedule that we've gone on, and we've we've had a lot of challenges on the tech side of it because we're we're not experts, and we've had to try to do the Instagram live thing, we've tried to do the YouTube thing, and it all has its own nuances. And we're 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 finding our feet with how best to stream that content. I think that production value is something that's very tricky um, to get right. And it's something that I personally feel really strongly about. So we are um, we are trying to create a situation where if the trainers are able to fill from home, they can totally, but we give them the kit in order to be able to do that. So the right kind of kit, not just like hold it, getting the mum to hold a phone over the other side of the room, let's jump up and down and, um, and, and you know, that's been a challenge too because our, our team are everywhere now they've dispersed you know we have them in wales and scotland and everyone's gone back home rightly so so we've had to try and really make sure that we could provide them with the tools that they needed in order to be able to fulfill this because otherwise it's a bit i mean it's not nice for them it's not great for us and it's not great for the clients so therefore there's not really that much point to it and i think that you know as we've got a lot of content that we've filmed in the run-up to this that we've we're now just spending time editing to to do yeah pre-recorded um, on-demand workouts and then we'll start launching our, our social events and as of next week as I'll say we're going to do our new book club live and things like that oh, and it, it, love it. <laughs> oh my god you should come here we've got a library in the loo <laughs> um, um, yes books are books are books are a big part of this place so we just thought you know we can't do this lovely book club we have planned well why not why can't we do this online and and then moving on from there we'll go to workshops as well to really combine everything and then the healers so distant healing has become something that you know i never thought we'd see but actually it really does work the, the fitness side of it if you think about it jane fonda i mean i spoke to you earlier about my you know it, the fact that the four really did start when i was 13 years old when i discovered the cindy crawford home workout video this has been around for a long time, working out in, in your living room in front of your TV when nobody else can see you. It is the most amazing thing in the world because you will try anything and right, you know, rightly so, get, get your groove on. I mean, I, just before I broke my leg, I was doing these classes with my kids at home, the five elements dance classes, which are weird, but absolutely <laughs> brilliant. It was just like, like that phrase sounds like nobody's watching because so you really do <laughs> exactly that and i'm so happy that there was no one there to film it but um i think that the less inhibited you are when you go to a gym or a fitness studio or anywhere else the better so this is only going to help people after lockdown i think that studios are going to up their game massively in order to be able to really elevate that experience then on site because we've learned that we've learned that working out from home is so easy and it doesn't have to take an hour and it doesn't have to have you know you don't even have to shower afterwards if you don't want to you can sit in your <laughs> but i think that we've learned that this is something you can really integrate into your life so easily that actually when you do come to a studio it will be for that different experience and that layer the welcome the feeling of being um part of something bigger than yourself 
I've um, I, I completely agree because um, I was kind of trying to get into fitness, you know, standard New Year's resolution. Um, and then um, I went a couple of times and then now I've kind of had this time to really get into it and, and feel a little bit more passion for it. Yes, I'm starting to get a little bit more bored um, in the living room. I want to kind of go out and meet new people, do, do classes together, feel kind of in, integrate fitness as part of my life. Um, so I feel that that has, it has also made a positive, um, if you can get any positives out of this, but um, impact on the fitness industry in general. Do you feel like that as well? Completely. And I think that there are so many positives that will come out of this. I don't know if I think that partly because I have to think that otherwise it's a bit soul destroying. Or if actually, I just, I genuinely believe that two things will happen following on from this. One is that everybody will just get over themselves a little bit more, especially this industry, because it really is that easy. This is not complicated. This is about finding something that you love, making it for you, about you, fitting into your life. It's not about what we want to sell or what we want to, you know, it's, and it certainly isn't about shiny buff trainers in little shorts who who are, are kind of an unattainable goal. I think they're lovely slicker, don't get me wrong. Um, <laughs> We, we have to, I think that in all of this, this, this self-actualization thing that's been going on for a few years now, the being your best self and I must do this, why? Why must you just let go? I think we've all just learned, you know what? This has been so leveling. We are all the same thing. At the end of the day, we are human beings. I mean, seven billion, one of a kind, but we are the human race. And, and I think that, you know, everybody has their differences and their nuances and their loves and their hates and, you should just pander to it. Be who you want to be and do, you know, if you want to go and do the crazy workout, come do the crazy workout somewhere that will give it to you. If you want to do it from your living room, do it from your living room, but just make sure it fits. It, it should be on your terms. And I think that that's where this, this industry will go now and, and will continue towards that personalization theme. So I really, I do think that there's a massive positive to come out of this. And, and yeah, within that, I think that the other positive will be that people are kinder to one another. And so maybe that will link into, there are a lot of places where I will go and I feel uncomfortable and intimidated. And that's weird because I own a place like that, but actually it's just not very friendly. And I think that that's gonna change massively now. So I think there's, there's really a positive, it's a much more positive year to end this year than to start it, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, that's very inspirational. Um, <laughs> I also um, just before we go, I, I did want to point this out just because um, personally, I uh, for start when I first started working from home, I I instantly started having back problems, um, and I was learning how to kind of um, well, I was googling um, like how to stretch, um, and one one thing that I found on your Instagram that was really really helpful. Um, all those different ways to stretch um, and it was actually focused on you know working from the sofa um, <laughs> um, and it was different ways and I just found that really really helpful so um, thank you <laughs> and if anybody that hasn't seen that already watch it if you're experiencing the same problems because it's it's helped me <laughs> and, and then, you know when you come out of lockdown I think that stretching is key for everybody every day if you can just whack out a 10 minute stretch the minute you come out of bed in the morning if you can just get that into your day and then maybe do another one before you get into bed at night, your body is going to move better. And we have a, a class that uses a special treadmill that's curved and it's curved because it, it works the entire posterior, posterior chain. And that's the bit that we don't strengthen anymore because we sit all day and we have really, really, really bad hips. And I think that that's, yeah, we're all gonna move a lot better if we get up and if we start stretching and get a bit of mobility back into our lives. Thank you so much for your inspiration. <laughs> um, just to let everybody know so that they can kind of uh, log into your Instagram, because obviously this is streaming on Facebook at the moment. Um, what is your uh, Instagram? Is it the, the underscore four? It's the four underscore London. There you go. <laughs> at the four underscore London. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Hannah. Um, I've really appreciated it. It's been very motiv motivational um, and inspiring, um, and I'm sure that you've inspired others as well. Um, I'm certainly going to come and visit the four, and I can't wait to uh, see the, the four wedding in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've got some people in mind. <laughs> um, I've that already. <laughs> Brilliant.
Um, but yes, thank you so much. Um, and uh, everybody else, tune in tomorrow at 11.30 again, uh, where we'll be hearing from Hospitality for Heroes. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Um, and thank you again, Hannah. Speak okay, to you bye, soon. Bye. Oh, you did great. Absolutely smash it, Still says live on my thing. Is it still live? <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it still see the little thing in the corner. <laughs> Yay! It's off. Oh no, I'm still live. How do I do this? <laughs>